While the case is ongoing in the Kaneshi District Court, we have uh, scores of people here at the car park who are here actually uh, to support him. We will try and speak to some of them. I'm here basically to um, to show solidarity towards our brother Bobi Ansa and to the entire media fraternity because we see this act as um, something that is against, you know, freedom of speech, that is against the media, that is against journalism, that is against every citizen of this country who hopes to have a voice and also hopes to have his or her voice heard. If we think that uh, anybody has said anything against any individual, the belief and the law is that you process the person, you know, you, you go to court, you ask that the judge intervenes. If whatever civil procedures are in place, you, you um, activate those procedures. That is our expectation. We don't expect that you criminalize speech or freedom of speech in this country. It is a cake, it is so out of place. <laughs> Your point and made me feel me die. I did tell me so I'm called social media musa. A trend is a chip of beans. I'm saying, ah, a chip of beans. I'm saying, Fred Guy Boca. So I said, ah, Faru, what is this? I chip of you are saying, I also what I'm saying, there is so much striking force. It's in your coin. I'm sorry, you are by me by and so I'm pa. Ya ten, you are bedding the chair, you are me adum your jan. Then you make a chair and say, your money bill, your money bill, sorry, your money bill. The air catcher and say, my money will not cheat. I have worked with Bobie. I mean, if you remember when I sent past started, I was together with Bobie, and that's why I'm surprised. John Bodu should remember that. Samuel Oku should remember that. We're on that platform when Bobie came to Accra to set up. And so, one, if not for freedom, freedom of the press, like people like you. He has been a personal friend. But again, to be able to allow you as journalists to function, it might not be baby here today. It could be you. And I'll be here. And the leadership of my party will be here too. So that I can assure you that if it is you, will come. Kobna Bubio has been granted bail by the Kaneshi District Court after he spent some few hours here. Uh, let's get to speak to a member of the legal team, uh, Eduji Tamaklo, to give us a brief of what happened in court and the nature of the case. We just finished the proceedings. He has been granted bail. Two sureties, 50,000 Ghana cities, and so we'll start the bail execution process. The facts produced by the prosecution, they are saying that there had been a story done by him and three others that the producers of the show and the borders on the first lady and the second lady. Incidentally, on these two charges, these two individuals are not named as the complainants. So our question is, is it that the police just stood up and started investigating or somebody came to them that they should investigate this matter? Who exactly came to the police to investigate this matter? We want to know. It is always possible to get a story wrong. It is possible. And that is why there are several remedies when you get a story wrong and that story injures their reputation. Are we to take it that the Ghana police it's now becoming the tool for the first and second family, I mean first lady, to remedy a reputation they claim has been injured. If we get to that point in our democracy, then we are going to destroy reputable institutions like Ghana Police. IGP Dampare, with the greatest respect to you, withdraw these charges and do yourself good.